Governor Ron DeSantis made a stop at Johns Pass Village in Madeira Beach today to discuss Helene recovery efforts. Other than cleanup crews, the popular tourist destination looks more like a ghost town right now. News Channel East Melissa Marino is live at Johns Pass with details on the recovery efforts there. So many businesses and homeowners struggling. Absolutely, Jen, and take a look. These piles of debris are everywhere. So heartbreaking to see not only folks' personal possessions, but their livelihoods essentially out here now just as trash. The devastation is and the cleanup out here is overwhelming, but these businesses, they are vowing to rebuild. A normally lively Johns Pass Village brought to a standstill after Helene. We have never encountered anything like this that has halted business to this level. I mean, everyone in Johns Pass is starting over. Deloza's pizzeria lost everything. This will be a complete rebuild inside. All new equipment, all new ovens, everything drywall related will be removed and we will rebuild. The streets lined with rotting debris. Even businesses that weren't flooded still devastated because the power has been out for days. All of our inventory uh, was lost. At Kilwins, Diane Butterfield is throwing all of the melted ice cream in the trash. 250 tubs, this is just a portion of them, of ice cream, all gone, and then a variety of chocolate products, fudge products, corns, brittles, etc. A total loss. Governor DeSantis stopping at the popular tourist destination, vowing to help businesses reopen. What we're committed to doing is getting rid of any red tape or bureaucracy that would inhibit a business from getting back uh, to business. A community devastated, forced to pick up the pieces and rebuild. We're going to try to rebuild and carry on. And some of these businesses tell me they're going to be open this weekend, including here, the Friendly Fisherman Restaurant. They're planning to open this weekend in some capacity. Also over here, Calypso Breeze. They are going to resume their cruise, their cruises that they do starting Saturday. So some of these businesses, it will take months for them to even rebuild, to reopen. Others are going to open in a small capacity to try to get some wages for their workers and for themselves. So hopefully they want the community to come out and support them in any way that you can. Reporting live in Madeira Beach, I'm Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.